basically heavy. The heavy class inside the finals is essentially your tank class. It takes the role of the person that's in the front lines, basically taking all the damage, trying to get aggro, essentially kind of like covering for your team in a way. This class also has quite a bit of offensive abilities, which can very much so turn the tide of the entire battle. A good heavy player is a menace to deal with compared to something like a good medium. A good medium is also really a menace to deal with, but a good heavy player can really, really carry a game. Heavy is an interesting class and hopefully you all will see just what I mean in this video. Hopefully I can do it justice, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for starters, just like in the previous videos, let's start off with the movement options that Heavy has. Heavy does only have it. <laughs> heavy has one kind, well, sort of two movement options. They have a new ability that came in season two called the gravity lift, which essentially, well, lifts you up. It can lift you up, it can lift enemies up, it can lift the cash box out, the cash box up. It can lift basically anything, lift what you want. However, it's extremely, extremely slow. As such, it's, in my opinion, best to be used as a disruption tool more so than a movement tool. Because if you get sucked in there and there's enemies around, you're essentially a sitting duck, you probably did. However, the other quote unquote movement option that Heavy has is the Charter Slam. The Charter Slam lets them move a little bit faster, but in the same boat, they also are able to destroy buildings, they destroy walls, they can essentially combo a one shot combo alike. Like the first hit and then they could jump and slam and then kill it or just double hit it like they could do some stuff with the charging slam but that's debatable if you want to call it a movement option because it technically isn't but it can be because you can also use it just to kind of break distance a little like if you're trying to run away from someone you can use it just to get away just a little bit just a little bit you're just a bit but yeah that's kind of it for their movement options but they lack in movement they make up for it the defensive tools and destruction capabilities which let's get into that now so for starters let's talk about the gadgets that heavy has heavy has a number of gadgets almost all of them are good dodge i can't really think of any that's just universally bad so let's go down the list real quick they have mines all mines are pretty much good except for glitch nades glitch, glitch mines are eh, but they don't have glitch mines okay all mines pretty good we don't, we don't really gotta talk about mines. Mines are pretty universal, everybody knows what they do. You have the RPG. The RPG, while it has been up a number of times now and way worse than it used to be, it is still a really good weapon. Oh, my bad. Gadget, because, well, it's an RPG. It has an AoE. It does a lot of damage still. It sucks to get hit by, it sucks to get killed by. It just is what it is. It's an RPG. It's free damage you can have it as a damage tool you can have it as a get off me tool like if someone's coming right up on you like stun gun you or something like that you can literally just rpg him and you he'll be one shot you can finish off your gun you can use it as a like get in option like oh you want to get to this point but you don't have like you're not running charge and slam but you don't have c4s well rpg it <laughs> It has a number of different uses, usages, and I feel like RPG is the one gadget that Heavy should always have in the kit, or at least in the buttons. RPG is just so good at so many different things. It can stop cash boxes, it can get kills, it can get you get your, you and your team inside of a building, inside a rooftop. It's just so good that it's kind of criminal not to have it in your reserves at the bare minimum. But moving on from RPG, we next have C4s. C4s are, uh, they're not great, they're not great anyway, they're not great, they're not great. Uh, you can no longer miss people with them, which is one of the main reasons people use C4s. But you can't miss people anymore, and they're kind of more used for actually, like, getting inside of a building now. They do less player damage as well, where you can't just one-shot kill a light even. Or if you can, when I tried it, it didn't work. <laughs> But uh, it's it's not it's not bad still. It's not like it's bad by any means of the world. It's just you have to use it a little differently. And if we're being honest, I feel like you're better off just using mines than to use a C4 nowadays. That being said, 
let's move on to the next thing we have the grab lift the gravity lift like i mentioned a little bit earlier the grab lift is a really good gadget that can be disruption it can be it can be disruptive it could be something that's like uh sort of like a movement also get you and your team up perhaps and it can also block doorways you know it has usages it has good uses even you can even like launch a cash box up like say say it's on the bottom floor because it was on the top floor originally but it's on the bottom floor now if you wanted to you can just have it go up you can just grab it for back up top and if you have to be having a teammate that has like um the the, the rematilor like the, the dematerializer then they can also just make a floor and now suddenly it was on the bottom floor now it's on the top floor it's a pretty good gadget i will admit though it has like a very niche very niche when it can be used you can't use it like every single like you can't use it on cool off cooldown every single time it's on off cooldown you can't do that but it comes in clutch in a number of different places. I feel like you should maybe have that in your reserves at the bare minimum. It's not a bad gadget by any means. Next up, we have the dome. And dome shield, it has also been nerfed a lot. But it's not bad still. Dome is quite literally just a bubble in an area, in a circular area, that you and your teammates can shoot through, but your opponents cannot shoot through. Think of it almost kind of like a extra 100 health, if you will. Imagine this. You're fighting against a medium who's, let's say, 150 health. But you only have a, but you only have 70 left. Right? You throw the dome down. You go around the corner, you throw the dome down. You turn around and you start shooting him. He, you, you're shooting him. He can't shoot you because the dome's there. Suddenly... If he starts shooting, that's fine, he's gonna break the dome. But if you're hitting your shots, you'll get him below 70 before he can do 100 damage to the dome and then start shooting you, you get the kill here. This is a really good tool for just a number of things, like I just mentioned, like it's good for like turning on opponents, it's good for protecting your teammates, like um, if you see a teammate like getting jumped or something, you can just throw the dome over there, give him a little bit of cover. You can use it as like a as like a way to get into the point. Like if you're trying to get a cash box, throw a dome on the cash box, get in there, have someone take it. You can be sitting there blocking for them, like just sitting inside of them essentially, so you take the bullets and out them. Dome has a lot of good uses and I don't really have much to say here. I feel like everybody knows dome is just good. Most people run it, so dome's really good. I don't have any qualms with it, if you will. Barricades. Now, personally, I don't like barricades. I find them just to be ass. However, I know that they're not ass. Barricades is honestly like S tier. They're really, really, really solid. Let me explain why. Barricades. Put a barricade down. You can head glitch it. As the heavy, you can head glitch your barricades. Mediums and lights cannot. Following this, you can use barricades to block off um, vents. You can use barricades to block off vents. You can use barricades to sort of give yourself cover while you're taking a cash box you can use it to bait people into going around your barricade to run into a mine or a c4 or whatever it may be you could use you can use barricades in just a number of different ways and it's very interesting to see what people come up with when it comes to barricades um but yeah uh, there's, there's nothing to say about them either they're just really good for what they do for what they are not much I can say besides that, to be honest. Moving on to the specializations that Heavy has. So first off, you have the Mesh Shield. The mesh Shield is essentially a Prime Heart Shield from Overwatch, or just a big shield that protects you in front, that protects in front of you. This shield is really good. It has also been enough two or three times now, but it's still really good. And the reason being is because you can essentially block for your team while moving and they can just kind of move with you and you can and they can attack you can use it as a tool to if you're being chased you can use it to block real quick make them waste their shots their bullets and then when they got to reload you start shooting them and then when they finish the reload you put the shield back up you it's it's great <laughs> on top of that whenever your teammate is trying to take a point you can go to the point put your shield up now they have to either melt your shield or try to get around you which obviously means you can shoot them. There's a lot that Mesh Shield can do. 
and it's just fucking really good. There's not much that can really deal with it really easily outside of glitch names and obviously team shots, but it's really good. Moving on to Charter Slam. Charter Slam is your more aggressive um, option here. I wouldn't say it's as versatile as something like Mesh Shield, but it's definitely more aggressive than Mesh Shield is. Again, not saying you can't be aggressive with Mesh Shield, because you can, you definitely can, but Charter Slam is just more aggressive. You can literally, if you just don't want to take a door, you can just make your own door. If you want to get into a point where they have like the doors and the windows all like, you know, like covered, you can go in from a different way using the Charter Slam. You can jump up and then fall really high by, while charging and you're basically one shot almost anybody. You can essentially combo your charge and slam into like a light or something and kill them very, very easily. You have some options with charge slam. And you can also use it, you know, defensively, like if someone's right on you with a shotgun or something, you can charge and slam. Well, maybe not a shotgun, shotgun might be a bad example, but if someone's right up on you with like a auto or something like that, you can literally just turn around, charge and slam, <laughs> probably kill them. You're going to be pushing them back, so they're probably going to be missing bullets while they're getting pushed back. It's solid. Let's but at least we have Goo Gun. <laughs> now, Goo Gun, I don't personally think is the best thing in the world, but it's incredibly niche and it's really good if you get really good with it. Near Goo Gun can quite literally, you can scale the map in a way. You can literally go on the outskirts of the map and come back on the map. You can make angles that is literally impossible except for maybe a light with grapple. You can do some things with Goo Gun that is absolutely insane. The problem with Goo Gun is that it's easily countered by fire. And people run pyronades, at least in their reserves. It kind of sucks to deal with if you're using Goo Gun in that regard. Same thing with flamethrowers. Thus, in my opinion, it's not the greatest thing to use, but it's not like it's bad either. It's really, really, really good. And you can make some sick plays with it. So when it comes to disadvantages, Heavy only really has like two, maybe three. And those disadvantages are the fact that you're slow. So you can get left behind by your teammates. You might get easily picked out because, by, or by your opponents because, well, they're really slow, so you're probably away from your team. The fact that, well, you're heavy. Heavies, you'll just have a target. People see a heavy, they want to kill the heavy. Especially if you're heavy that carries around the RPG. They definitely will want that to be used and gone and not have to deal with it. Heavy also some glitch nades, but what class doesn't? That's kind of, again, really about it in terms of like the disadvantages that heavy has compared to the other classes. And yeah, its main one is just movement. They struggle with the ability to move. That's about it for that though. Moving on, so my opinion on heavy greatly depends on what your gadgets are. Similar to what my opinion on medium was, where like it kind of depends on your specialization, I feel like heavy's essence is really capitalized by their gadgets in particular. What I mean is I feel like all heavies can play relatively the same if their specializations are kind of what they're just playing for. Like you can be aggressive with uh, heavy uh, barricade, um, heavy mesh. You can be aggressive with that. You can be aggressive with charge slam. You can be aggressive with goo gun. Obviously, it's all a slightly different play a little bit, but you can do this with all of them and find success. It's the gadgets that kind of make the build really come alive to some degree. So my opinion essentially comes down to the gadget choices. What I believe is like kind of like the best universal choices. RPG, um, Dome are like in my opinion two staples for Heavy, and last but not least, the last one, normally C4, but I would argue Gravity Lift or even just a normal mine will be better in this slot at that point. Um, in terms of specialization, Mesh Shield all the way, the other two is like they're fine, they're fine. They do stuff, they're okay. But that's essentially it for this video. Hopefully you guys thought it was interesting. Um, but how fun do I do? I bid you all adieu. Take care and peace. Bye-bye.